the airport. <laughs> call. I call. Oh! Parents, parents want respect. Parents want obedience. So does God. Right? And if, and if, when it comes to a point when you're of age and you don't want to respect your parents anymore, you don't want to obey their rules, there's something called a door. You are free to leave. God said, if you don't respect and obey me, guess what? You, I guess it's, you, you won't be coming in. You're going to stay out where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. You're not coming in because you don't want to obey. Because God wants respect. Why? Because he has authority. He is above me. He is above you. He has authority. He has standards for living. He has standards for peace. He has standards. Ludacris made a CD called Disturbing the Peace. Well, God don't want nobody in his heaven that, that will disturb the peace. He wants someone that will promote the peace. Because he is the prince of peace. <laughs> God only wants those who will promote the peace. Who will, add, who will walk in the peace. Walk in the truth. Walk in love. God called. <laughs> he called. And he justified. Justified. Just as if you never sinned. God washed and cleansed you. And covers you. And said they're mine now. It's, their sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. Justified. And he glorified. He's going to glorify you. After you go through, through the process of, of, of sanctification, God says, I will glorify you. Give you the ultimate realization of, of what you were, you were called to be. What you were predestined to be. You are not born to be, to live any, any way. To be a liar. God said, I call you to be honest. You were not born to be a whore. God wants you to be faithful. Get a wife. Get a husband. God don't gonna call you to be a, little, uh, a, a cheating psycho, a, a, nin, a nymphomaniac. God called you to be faithful and loyal. God didn't call you to cuss out people, cuss out your enemies. He called you to pray for them, to love them, forgive them, to bless those who curse you, bless those who persecute you, bless those who, who spitefully use you. Oh, that's how you know you are children of God. God didn't call you to mismanage your money. Mismanage your wealth. He calls you to, to, to invest your money properly. Properly spend it. Properly save it. Properly properly manage it. God, God bless you. He calls you to properly manage your resources. Manage what you've been given. Before you pass away. Before you die. Properly manage what you have been given. That's what God calls you to be. He calls you. He calls you to, to be a, a steward of his possessions. He caused you to properly spend your, uh, he caused you not to be lazy. He caused you to train your body, exercise, move your body, go to a gym, work out in your own home, get a workout partner. He caused you to be productive, not lazy. That's what God caused you to be. He didn't cause you to be homosexual. He caused you to get to a wife, get to a husband, different genders. He caused you to, to propagate. You know why you're here? A sperm and an egg. God, call, God says, don't go against that. Don't go against that. God calls you to be a heterosexual. God calls you to be someone that promotes life. God to call you to be a drug addict. God said, be clean. God said, be addicted, be addicted to me. God should be who you're addicted to. God should be all in all. God is say, God is call you be a, a, a porn addict, drug addict. No, He said be free. All that stuff is bringing shame, guilt, depression, and suicide, and all sorts of de demonic forces. God said, I ain't call you to, to be that. That's bondage. God, God, God didn't call you to 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 be concerned about what what people think and say. You can't please everybody. You can't please God bless you. God bless you. You can only you can truly seek out to, to live out to please God. You can't please everybody. Stop first, stop fretting, stop worrying about what other people are gonna think and say. You do you and I do me. Hallelujah. It's not what God God called you to be. <laughs>
Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! God has called you. God, God hasn't called you. God has called you to live in fear of this coronavirus, this unseen enemy. God said, don't worry about the virus. Be strong and good courage. Let not your heart be troubled. Oh! Coronavirus ain't got nothing on me. Nothing on me. Nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said, rise above anxiety, rise above fear, rise above depression, rise above. Don't let media scare you. Don't let governor and president scare you. Don't let them scare you. No weapon formed against me. Us shall prosper. It shall prosper. It, it, it shall be formed, but it will, it will not prosper. God, God hasn't called you to, 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 to be all timid and is afraid. God said, be bold as a lion. Be courageous. Do what I call you to do. While you're living, every day you get closer to the grave. God said, do it while you're still breathing. Do it while you still got energy. Do it while you still got resources. Do it now because there is no scheme, device, or thought in the in the in the grave where you are going. In the very in the very day that people die, their thoughts perish. So why you why you still breathing? Why you still living? God said, do what I call you to do. And stop wasting time. Stop procrastinating. Stop making excuses. Do what God's called you to do. Be who has called you to be. You are not what your mom was. You are not what your daddy was. You go, you, you rise, you will be better. You, you will learn from, from their mistakes. Learn from your mistakes and be better. That's God's purpose for us as a people, as his children. That's his purpose. God has called us for better. For better. Hallelujah.